Hey guys, uh, CJ989 here, and I bring you my third collection video. Okay, so for this collection video, I know I've done, I did one back in I think May, but uh, I decided that I want to uh, do another one here now because of how much stuff I've acquired since then, obviously, as you can see. So, if I can just get over it. First off, we have this. this is a Firelight BG12 right here. Firelight BG10 right here. Firelight BG8. Right here, a Firelight BG6. Right here, we have a Firelight MPS and Firelight 9050 FM 950 pull station. Yeah, FM 950. Uh, over here, we have this two wire wheel lock NS from 2003. As you can see, 41st week of 2003. And here, we just have a ceiling mount wheel lock strobe that came off the speaker strobe. Uh, right here we have my Wheelock RSS 2415W, even though it is it has a red cover for. Um, here we have my Wheelock CH70 white chime strobe, still works very well. Um, over here we have my Wheelock 34T on uh, my Wheelock. That is the number on this thing. A Wheelock RSSP 12 or 24 MCW um, strobe plate. Fit multi candela. If we come over here, we have my Wheelock EHEL1 with a custom LSM strobe on it. Uh, here we have a System Sensor Spectrum Alert Classic. You've seen these many times. Uh, right here, actually, I'm just gonna duck down. We have a uh, System Sensor Mass Horn sounder, you've seen it before. Right here we have a System Sensor L-Series P2RL 2 wire. Uh, here we have a System Sensor Spectral or Advanced P2R, I believe, yeah, P2R. Right here we have uh, two System Sensor 2 wire base I3s, uh, you've seen these before. Here we have a system sensor, I believe it's a 2400A, 2400A smoke detector. Uh, right here we have a Mircom, uh, it's a Mircom rebranded version of the, of the um, Potter Select the Horn strobes. Uh, I don't have the back piece so I can't really see the model number. This is a remote strobe. Uh, but here we have a horn strobe version and uh, it's an FHS 340. Yep, so I guess this would be just an FS340. Alright, if we come over here. Oops. We have my Miracom MS408 pole station. Two stage. Right here we have a Miracom. Oh, what's the model number? Um, uh, it doesn't say the model number, but. Just a Miracom rebranded system sensor smoke. Here we have a Miratone pole station. I don't know the model number specifically, but yeah, it's got no button in it. Oops, keep kicking stuff. Uh, right here we have a Notifier BG10. It's a little tricky to pull, you gotta kinda wait for it. Nah. Uh, here we actually have a Notifier version of the FM950. Came from my golf course building. Over here, over here, we have a uh, Pyrene, um, I think 950, 1050 pole station. Something like that. Yep, 950, 1050 from 1998. Here we have a an older version of the Notifier MPS 950B pole station. Right here. Uh, right here we have a newer version from 2017, that one was from 2001, but it's the same pole station, just a newer version. 
Right here we have a notifier. Um, blue emergency pull station is in fact, this thing pull, no. Uh, an emergency pull station of those pull stations. Uh, SM950B-20C. Uh, here we have a notifier KMS uh, 6-24 um, bell. This is a six six inch motor bell from 2000. And uh, over here we have the same bell. It's just the newer version. Uh, here we have a 10 inch version. This is a KMS 10-24 24 10 inch bell. Here we have a Mircom uh, BL10A um, 10 inch motor bell as well. Here we have my ADT5060 pull station. Uh, over here we have my Harrington signal pull station. Can't quite remember the model number, but. Uh, here we have my FCI MS2. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a key for this yet, so I'm not going to pull it, but uh, stay tuned for that. That's also something I got from Alex. Um, here we have my Gentex Commander 3. You've seen this before. Uh, it's felt. Um, here we have a Thermoplex uh, fixed and rate of rise heat detector. Here we have the uh, same version except it's got a smaller disc and a bit of a more rigid um, edge design. And here we have a Chemtronics fixed heat detector. Here we have my Edwards Integrity 7578AT uh, Tupper Holden Strobe from 1999. Somewhere around that. Uh, here we have a first generation Integrity ceiling mount remote strobe because it's got a date code of 1995, so that's pre uh, synchronization. And that's the back that's a little loose. Uh, here we have a newer uh, double gang Integrity remote strobe with the ceiling lettering on it because I actually took it off and put it on that one. Uh, and over here we have an enhanced version of the single of the. Um, the single gang version. All right, if we come over here. We have this. This is my Edwards 895, basically just a mechanical version of the 892. And then right here we have an 8922B, and that is because it's got the screw terminals and the large, more bigger speaker plate, and a trim plate for these devices. Here we have my homemade Edwards test station. You've seen it before. Uh, right here we have my Edwards 439D6AWC 6 inch motor bell, or uh, vibrating bell actually. Uh, really cool, one of my favorite bells. Here we have um, my 24 volt DC Edwards adapter bell. We come over here, we have a 6 volts AC version of the adapter bell. And right here, here's a bell that I've wanted, I don't know for how long now. But I, I finally got it. It is an Edwards 43090-10AWC 10 10AWC 10 bell, which is basically just a 10-inch version of that, and I love it. I've been it's my favorite, probably one of my favorite pieces in my collection right now. So here we have a Genesis or no Kitta. Kitta rebranded rebranded Genesis uh, remote remote strobe red without fire lettering. Here's another Genesis remote strobe um, white with fire lettering. Here's a Genesis horn strobe red with fire lettering, and then here's a Genesis horn red with no fire lettering, and here's another Genesis horn strobe white without fire lettering. All right, now time now on to the 270 pull stations. First here we have an Edwards 270 SPOE, and it it's actually very rare because it's got these screw terminals and it doesn't have the security lock. Still pulls the same. Here we have the same pull station, just it does have the security lock. Here we have a uh, a newer 270 SPO from like 2015. I have the glass on, so I'm not gonna pull it. Uh, let's move over here. Here we have a uh, Edwards, a even newer version from like 2017 with the GE logo and the ESD logo. Here we have a Kitta K270. Uh, here is the bilingual version. This is a two Siga. Um, Sega C two seventy B. It's kind of hard to maneuver here. Uh, here we have an older version, the older font that I kind of repainted. Here we have an Edwards smoke detector. Uh, don't know the model number. I got two of these. This one is uh, 
This one has the wider base, this one has the shorter, but they're both base, they're both base determined. Uh, right here, we have uh, uh, Edwards uh, C2MPD, I believe, smoke detector, two wire. Here we have another Edwards version of those system sensor smoke detectors, two wire, um, base determined. Here we have my Edwards, um, oh, what's the model number on this? Uh, it's one of those older photoelectric heads from this one. It actually came out of my school from 1997. Here we have an Edward Siga, Siga Smoke. You've seen these before. All right, now on to Simplex. Okay, first here we have a Simplex 4251 with both a replacement lock and a replacement button in it. Uh, here we have a, a 4251 with the Canadian exclusive B-key lock. Here is another one with the Canadian exclusive B-key lock. Here we have a bilingual uh, Simplex 4099. Uh, I forget the model number. Uh, it'll come back to me though. Uh, here's a Simplex 4251-30 converted to a four, converted to 4251, and it has uh, this is the only one in my collection to have uh, the uh, concave handle. And here we have my uh, conventional Simplex 2099-9754 from 2002. All right, here we go. Here's my Faraday. Um, it's not a 6120. It is something else, but it has a 4903 mechanical horn in it. Here, here is my simplex or my Faraday 46120 horn. Uh, yep, you just saw it in System Test 49. Uh, here is my simplex 2901-9840. Seen it before. Here's my simplex 2901-9806 uh, vibratone horn. Here's my Simplex 4051 Vibratone Horn. Here's my Simplex 2903, 2903 uh, strobe plate, or er, light plate, sorry. And uh, here is my Simplex 4903 9217 with an integrity, with the guts of an integrity strobe in it, but it still works. Uh, here's a Simplex 2901 9723 6 inch motor bell. And uh, lastly, here we just have a notifier end of line resistor plate. So, that has been collection video number three, and you can obviously see how much of a change it's uh, taken on in my collection, and I guess panels you want to include, you get the NFW50 System 500. I do have more stuff on my shelves, it's just this is all kind of one of everything that I have. Uh, Fire Shield, FA-101T, all that, the security panel, that FA-1000, but yeah. So that's been my next collection video, um, it's probably going to be the last one I do for maybe a couple of years, I don't know. Uh, depending on how many more devices I get in the future, but anyways, it's CJ999 signing off, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.